Uh, speaking of championships, let's talk about the U.S. title picture on SmackDown Live. It's been really heating up since Buzz's victory over Bobby Roode at Backlash, especially with the return of the U.S. title open challenge. Hey, I, I give all the credit in the world to Buzz. I, I wasn't sold on this guy coming in. I, I thought he, need, he needed some time in, in, in NXT to learn. Well, but and, that was never uh, going to happen, given his history with Triple H. Hey, will you let me finish? By all means. I was going to say... I thought he needed some time in NXT, but I realized that was impossible. Anyway, with, with that being said, he's been on a tear recently on SmackDown. But I think he might have hit a roadblock this past week in the form of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you didn't see it, what Hood's referring to is KO and Sami Zayn's beatdown on Buzz after his match with Sami on SmackDown. I've seen some beatdowns and beat-ups. But that was on a whole other level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That might have been a beach sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you think about Sammy wearing the Baron Blade mask? I thought it was kind of a cheap move. That, that wasn't cheap. What? That was smart. Oh. This is WWE. You got to do whatever you can to get an edge. You, you look at your opponent and see what you can use to exploit any mental weakness they might have. And Buzz has obviously got some major baggage with Baron Blade. I would have done the same exact thing. Yeah, but it didn't work, though. Buzz is still the United States champion. Okay, well, I would have done it better and won the match. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Yeah, not gonna lie, after hearing you talk like this, I'm a little concerned you've been playing mind games with me all this time. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. <laughs> okay, now this is getting uncomfortable. Let's uh, take a break so I can make sure Hood hasn't been uh, gaslighting me the past two years. Two years? We've been doing this podcast for four years. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just messing with Aww. you. It's been five years. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happenings in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator, Jack Tice. Baron Blade's BCW is certainly pushing its issue with Triple H further when last week BCW wrestlers Buzz and Cole Quinn invaded NXT and made their presence known. This was in response to Triple H recently shutting down the online feed on a BCW pay-per-view for various legal reasons. Now look here, I've seen this type of stuff happen before, and it usually doesn't end well for the guys who are doing the invading. I'm not saying that's always the case. Uh, there's DX's invasion of WCW, which some would say helped turn around the Monday Night Wars in favor of WWE. But that was a much different situation, and more often than not, the little guys, who are looking for the rub, if you will, from the bigger company, end up getting more than they bargained for. I mean, come on, if Triple H went after BCW just for running a former WWE venue, imagine what he's going to do after these guys jump to barricade and disrupt the NXT broadcast, which we all know is Triple H's baby. See, if I were these guys, I'd stay as far away from Orlando as I could from now on. You made your point. You got some more buzz, pun intended. Now better back off before you do any major damage to your futures, which, to be honest, they may have already done. In any event, I'll be watching to see what BCW's next move is, just like all of you, and I just hope it's a smart one.
Losing all control 